There are two ways to create a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro 10. You can place the playhead in your timeline on the frame of the clip that you would like to freeze, or you can select a range of a clip on the timeline. To create a freeze frame from the playhead position, select an entire clip by clicking on it, then move the playhead to the frame of that clip that you'd like to freeze. Now go to the Retime pop-up window and choose Hold from the pull-down menu. By default, a two-second freeze or hold of that frame will be added at that point in your clip. You can adjust the freeze frame's length by dragging the retiming handle for the hold to the right or to the left. The advantage of creating a freeze frame from a pre-selected section of a clip as opposed to one frame of a clip is that it allows you to predetermine the freeze frame's length based on how long the range is. To do this, go to the Edit Tools pull-down menu and choose the Range Selection tool. Select a range duration for your freeze frame in a clip on your timeline. Then go to the Retime pop-up menu and choose Hold. Your freeze frame will appear at the position of the first frame of your selected range and it will last for the length of the range. In the next lesson, we'll learn about compound clips.